Clay, you came into this project uh, after it had been sort of in development for a few years. What was it like to to walk into something like this? And aside from the sheer amount of footage that, that you had to deal with right away, what was the first thing that struck you about sort of being involved in this in this film? I, I think the the thing that jumped out to me was the sort of experiential nature of the footage um, and, and just how incredible it was and how... Uh, amazingly open and honest and vulnerable Steve and Michelle were in it. And so you you sort of have this experience of being able to be sort of a fly on the wall in the room with them as they're going through the journey of this uh, disease over the last five years. And then you sort of layer on top of that experience their their candor. And uh, it's it's a very powerful experience. And and Michelle, to, to have your, your day-to-day life be chronicled in this way to add another person to that inner circle and 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 to 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 have someone else come in to be a part part of that what what were some things that that clay did to sort of let you know that he was the right person to to, to help tell this story um when he came down he played ping pong with me um and i uh, i have a sense I, of people. i won <laughs> whatever i think he i think he actually <laughs> Pretended to be not as good as you were in the beginning, and then came out for like the sweep. I sandbagged it. I did. But I think uh, I think I just had a feel that I I liked him, and um, that's all I really cared about. I, we had enough people that were there that were making decisions about the movie and what was going to happen. So I just uh, I liked hanging out with them, and that was good for me. 